Welcome to the first kennel visit for the Star Sports Greyhound Derby 2024. Today I'm in Hot World at the kennels of Patrick Janssens. So let's go and talk to Patrick and meet the dogs. Well, I am now joined by Patrick Janssens, ahead of the 2024 Star Sports Greyhound Derby. Obviously, Patrick, you won the competition in 2021. That's what everyone wants to do in the sport. And not just, not just did you win it, but you had the one too. Describe yeah. that feeling. Yeah, that was the best feeling ever, you know what I mean? Um, um, yeah, to, to, to achieve, that's, that's everybody's dream to win the derby, you know. You know, I worked at, for your dad and everything, and we won a 10, and that was a great achievement. But to do it in, in your own right is, is like something fulfilled in your life. And last year, you came very, very close. You had Romeo Command in the final, and a great race in the final to come second. Um, describe that feeling sort of going so close but not winning it. Yeah, yeah, I thought we had a great draw. We had a great draw and then the final in the traps over and I saw trap two from Raymond popping out and it's a very strong dog and I thought then we won't back run this. We could have had a chance in back running some of the others but not that one. So, no, he done very well, you know what I mean? But you're so close and then you're so far away again. So, you give it a, another good go this year. And obviously with Romeo Command, I'm hoping to be in this team this, this year, but it's not going to happen. Can you explain that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The solo trial round um, toasted and um, there's a little crack in his hock. Um, he come off lane, not straight away, so the next day. Um, he's been to Stefano and he just needs rest. He's gone back in big paddocks now, but he just needs time to callous over properly and everything. And by the time the derby starts, he wouldn't have enough work in him and we wouldn't justify him. He, he, he won't be ready in time. But you're still going to have a fairly nice team. Um, we're going to go into each dog in more detail, but can you give sort of a general description of how the team's looking this year? Yeah, the team is good. I've got some good dogs. Um, are, are they really Derby dogs? Pine Motel, they're sort of low 29 dogs. They have to improve two or three lengths, but some of them dogs, they, they can do, you know what I mean? I'm very excited about Bantic Bear. He's the right type of dog, I think, for Toast. He's a sort of very strong running dog. Finished second in the Puppy Derby, so no more so. Yeah, we, he runs toast to well, one of Maiden there in 29.10, so and I think he's, he's sort of 28, 80 dog at the moment. Is the hunger still there to win it? Yeah, the derby is, yeah. But he, that's, that's what I love about ground racing, is the derby. I love four bend dogs. Um, I love them competitions and everything, and the derby is the pinnacle, and I love toast as well. I think it's a real good track. It's a proper test of a dog. Um, it's not sort of a track where you're out and gone and hang in there. You, you need to start, you need to stay, you need, you need every attribute in the dog, really. So, yeah, I love the derby. Now we're going to start talking about the dogs more specifically. Um, what Patrick might describe as his first string in the competition would be Barn Tick Bear. Obviously ran on Saturday at Monmore in the PGR Puppy Derby. Uh, you could definitely say an unlucky second. Just got trouble at that last bend, which possibly cost him the race. But in theory, should be more suited to Toaster? I would say so, yeah. That's why it was bought as well. Um, we bought my Limerick, he won a novice race there. Um, his time wasn't that impressive, really, you know what I mean? But his, his run home was very strong from the third bend. So, and then um, Paul Carpenter rang me, and then the other lads got involved in it as well. And um, he, we thought he'd be well suited to Toaster, and, and, and he won a maiden there. But we thought we'd give one more to go, as much as it's not suited for him. It's a great price. It's a, it's a great guide to get how good he really is, you know what I mean? And you can see with every run, he got more and more track craft, you know what I mean? Like in, in the semi final, the gap open at the right time at the third and fourth bend, and he won it well. This week, you know, if he hold himself a bit back, he'd probably be a runner coming home. But listen, it was a great winner from, from Carol Weatherall and everything. And um, we were a good second. So hopefully he learned from him, but hopefully Toast will suit him well. Definitely. He wasn't the luckiest with the draws at Monmore. Uh, drawn track three in the final, and I think it's fair to say in the semi-finals and the final, he was looking for the rail. So would he be a dog that you want to see in one or two at Toaster, or is he just still learning? He won from trap five there, and, and I know he's very tight rails, but I think he's the sort of dog who sort of makes his own luck a bit, I think, you know what I mean? So, And um, I think good dogs can run for most draws. Yes, he's, he's desperate for rails, really, but... Um, yeah, but he's not that sort of dog who has to lead to qualify. You want them sort of dogs who are very strong and who can run on for a place. And that's the type of dog he is, you know what I mean? And hopefully we get with the last six, that's when it matters. 
definitely. And he's already won at Toaster and clocked 2914. In summer going, you can definitely take quite a lot off that. So how good do you really think he is? And is he your first string in the competition? Oh, yeah, he is. He's, he's a 28-8 look at the moment, I think. But I think he'll, he'll be better in a couple of weeks' time. He'll have a few weeks off now, then he'll be trialling again at Toast, and then we just go for the derby. You know, I think I think he can do even quicker than 28-8, in my opinion. But, yeah, he's, he's, he's an exciting dog, pretty exciting. And he's one of those dogs that he doesn't need to lead, clearly. He's staying on at one more. So Toaster should see showing electric backstroke pace. Again, all good attributes for Toaster. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, he ticks all the boxes really for Toaster, that's for sure. You know, that's, that's what we've got when he's on running in Ireland. And um, I think that's the type of dog you need sort of for Toaster. You don't want them at and gone versions because they're going to get caught one day. And, and he is that type of dog. So, yeah, fingers crossed. The next dog in Patrick's team we're going to talk about will be Slick Sabo. Obviously, he won the Puppy Classic at Nottingham last August. He's come to you. Is it fair to say that he has been a touch frustrating since? Yeah, he, he is. You know, he, he's not really a good trapper, really. And then, you know, he shows good pace up and he shows devastating middle. But, um, you know, he just has to put a few runs together, you know. And to be fair, the dog hates the winter. He, he is terrible even when you put him out of a night. You don't want to go out because it's too cold. And then we start all this trouble with cramping and everything. And now when the warmer weather sort of comes, like when we took him to Central Park, he won the first round there from, from the Kent Plate. And um, it was a bit warmer that night, you know. I thought on Saturday when he ran at Momo behind Lynx Maverick, he showed devastating middle pace. He was matching sort of Lynx Maverick. He lost a bit coming home sort of thing, but he still done himself 28-20. So, and that's in defeat, you know. I think, I think hopefully in the summer, it will get a bit better, but I'm, I'm, he's definitely, definitely a 29 dead dog around Toaster. And at Toaster, he, he's had three races around there. He's won two of them. We know he's got some serious ability from his form at Nottingham. So you are looking forward to the derby with him. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think he'd be a better Nottingham dog than he would be a um, Toaster dog, if I'm honest. But um, listen, it is a Toaster and, and, and he runs the track well, but he just has to be more consistent with his trapping. And he's a uh, September 21 for his age. He's still fairly lightly raced. Um, he's got some lovely early pace, middle pace, but is he a dog that you want to see get off the front? If you got behind, would you be in trouble or do you think you can still qualify? As long as he's, as long as he's up there at the third bend, he'd be fine. But if he's not up there at the third bend, he won't be coming from behind of the home straight because he'd done all his running to the third bend, really. That's the sort of dog he is. The next dog in Patrick's team is going to be Miracle, uh, very well bred out of Pastana and Bell. Fairly lightly raced, but has a very good record at Toaster. I think five wins and a second from seven runs. So clearly likes the track. Yeah, he does. He, he he's much better at Toaster than anywhere else. Um, he loves the place because as, uh, when he come over, I started him at Romford, and to be honest, he was dreadful. He was absolutely dreadful, and I thought to myself, I'm going to give him a go at Toaster and see if they can give him a graded race. And he done first time around twenty nine seventy, and then I put him in the main, and he done twenty nine fifty. Then he done 29 20, and he kept the times kept going down. And I put him a few times in competitions, but not really. Them tracks weren't really suited to him. And he, he, he's much better at toaster. He, he shows devastating early, he shows great middle, and he stays it well. Yeah, so he's, he, he's having a little break now. He had, he had fair, he's been on the go a while, and um, then in a couple of weeks, we start trialing him again and, and aim more for the, for, uh, the derby. And around Toaster, he's got some very, very fast sectionals. So is it fair to say he's all about early pace? He's all about early and middle. Yeah, that's what he is. He stays well enough, but he's, he, he's got devastating early. He does. He's, he's not trapping, really. He's doing low four sectionals. So if he were trapped one day, I think he could definitely break the, the, the four-second barrier. And in February, he was sort of consistently clocking around the 29-15 mark again in the summer going. And summer conditions, you could expect some to come off of that time. But yeah. how good do you think he is? I think he's very good. I really do. He's a character. He is, he's a real character. He don't like strangers. He don't like... Once he knows you, he's all over you. He doesn't start barking at you and things like that. But with Toaster, the track away from the crowd, that definitely helps that dog. Moving on to Droopy's Donut. I think, um, again, it's fair to say that he has been slightly frustrating since coming over. Uh, we're quite well fancied in the Puppy Cup at Romford. Didn't work out from in that competition, but does Toaster suit more than Romford? Obviously, very different tracks. Yeah, it definitely does. He's he's a dog. When he's behind, 
you know, he goes all sort of funny around the bend and he looks lame and he looks, and you know what I mean? And But when he hits the front, he's a totally different dog. He's got great, great middle. He stays well enough. He's not the strongest coming on, but he stays well enough. And the thing is, if he could get that trapping sorting out, that more consistency, he would be a massive friend because he's doing 396 section on everything and he's doing 2890s and 29 deads and things like that. You know what I mean? That's good enough to win a derby, I think, you know, and especially in the summer and everything. But at, he ran very well Saturday at Monmore, to be, to be fair, but no disrespect to the other dogs, but it wasn't the greatest race. But he's going to meet a lot better dogs and he's got to sort his trapping out and he's got to start more consistent. Yeah, and he does seem to be in good form at the minute. He was running well at Chaser. He won a couple and then was in some really tough races, finished second. Like you said, he won at Monmore on Saturday. Mm. Um, how far do you think he can go in the derby if he sorts out his trapping? I think all the dogs I have at the moment, they're also definitely court finalists, you know what I mean? But they have to sort this, they, they have to be consistent and they have to, because like Miracle, Donut, all them sort of dogs, they're not in front by the third bend we're really going to struggle you know what i mean so the only one who wouldn't would be probably um the barnty bear dog you know because he's a bit different but um no the, he, he he can he can go all the way if i'm honest you know what i mean but he's got to be more consistent moving on to edwards um he is a dog that absolutely loves toaster he clocked 2902 around there in february i think he's broken 29 seconds in the past um, is he going to be part of the team? How is he? Yeah, he's, he's going to be part of the team. Yeah, um, he, he's in great form, to be honest. He ran well at, at Central Park. He just had a terrible draw in the semi finals and trapped four, and he couldn't come across. And But no, he, he, he's a very sort of consistent dog. Um, another one, not always his trapping ain't the greatest, but he's very strong, you know what I mean? Because in the beginning, in the winter, he was cramping, and now with the warmer weather, that, that's all better than everything. So. Yeah, he, he, he's definitely a dog, you know, 28.98 is the quickest he's been. He done in the winter, 29.02. So, yeah, he's definitely up there. He's definitely sort of quarter finalist at the moment. If, but if he sort of run into form, hopefully he'll get better. And you've tried him at other places, like you said. He ran at Central Park and he ran really well at Central Park. But would you say Toaster is definitely his favourite track? Yeah, Toaster is his favourite track. You know, he come from Craig Morris. He ran him at Yarmouth and everything. And... He didn't have enough early for that place and everything done for Craig 2898 round toaster in the summer. So yeah, toaster is definitely his favourite place. I think he's one of those dogs that has gone slightly under the radar. Um, but if he can trap and get in front, then on the bunny, they wouldn't beat him, would they? No, they wouldn't beat him. They wouldn't beat him. There's there's a few of them though. That donut would be the same. There's a few of them, you know what I mean? But it's just it's just you know, for the derby, it's very rarely the quickest wins it, the most consistent one that wins it. You know, and that's that's what you need to find. And to be fair, them dogs, the ones I got are good. You know, but you know, it's just getting there. That's the hardest part. Well, the only female member of Patrick's team this year is going to be Charming Girl, and she's interesting, isn't she? Because she's not British bred, she's not Irish bred. She was bred in Holland. She was bred in Holland, yeah. I used to have the mum here. Um, the mum was out of um, Mountjoy Moon with. Um, in Lock Bray, and she went to Holland, she went to race there, she done very well. Um, they bred with her to Ballymac Kingdom, and this charming girl. So, she was doing some fantastic trials in the schooling trials there in Holland. I said, Inside hair, so they asked me if they could bring it here. So, I said, I'll give it a go. Took it to Toaster, but she didn't have a clue what an outside hair was. So, it's really, she schooled herself, took it down to Hove, and um, yeah, she won a few races there. But the times were coming down all the time. And um, in the end, yeah, she finished second behind Crafty Shiva in the Empress Stakes. And then we brought her back for the, she, she got to the semi-finals of the Oaks, but she never really took the Perry Bar, if I'm honest. She's really a toaster bitch. And um, then we, for the Blue Ribbon, she had 29 or 2 in a, in a race there, but she come off lane. We left her off ever since, and we're going to start it again now, and then hopefully we'll have her back in time for the Derby. She's a bit of absolutely loves toaster, like you said, second in the Empress State. She starts and she stays, so yeah. it seems perfect bitch for the Derby. Yeah, she does, she does, she don't have to lead. Um, she stays that well. Um, yeah, she 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 would stay five seven five comfort as well. Um, yeah, she she's really game. She she loves toaster, she absolutely loves toaster. All the wins, yeah, the few at hope as well, but all all the other wins all the toaster. Would you say she could be one for the best bitch market potentially? Yeah, yeah, she could be. She could be. You know what I mean? It all depends how well she's going to come back. Listen, she keeps herself very fit in the paddocks and everything. She, 
he's, she's one of them dogs who don't stop running around and playing and doing things. So hopefully all the preparation goes well. We can't have no setbacks because otherwise you'll be a non-runner. But um, so far, whatever we've done with her, she responded very well. The final member of Patrick's team is going to be Jurid's Orgo, um, another one of those dogs, consistent, 29-20 at Toaster. Um, he's going to be in the team. How do you rate him? I think he's very good. I think his recent form don't show what he can do, really. He, the thing he has to sort out is his trapping. His trapping at Toaster is, is no good. You know, he shows great early. He has devastating middle and he comes home okay. You know, but if he could trap better, he would leave, he would, he would definitely break four seconds for for the section on everything. But he's not a great breaker, you know, and he he done once there a, a very low four, and he beat King Sydney there in the race. But um, yeah, he's he's in good form. He's gonna have a few weeks off as well, and then in a few weeks we start trialing again. And fingers crossed, all going for the Derby. So Patrick, if you had to advise the people watching on an anti post bet, who would your money be on of your team? Um. I would, I would have Miracle and I would have Bonding Bad. This year we are expecting a strong Irish challenge, but I think it's fair to say that sort of your kennel, Rav's kennel, they've got some absolutely flying dogs. Are you looking forward to the derby this year? It's sort of this time of the year that it starts getting exciting. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah, I think I think the one to beat is Rav. If I'm honest, I think he's got the best dogs in Britain. Um, Four Ben dogs I'm talking about, especially for the derby. I think, um, I think he's the one to beat. If I'm honest.